My link here at East North Castle is James's daughter, Imogen. And Imo is just a really good friend of mine, and I can't wait to um, see her again. And it's so nice that I'm able to reconnect with her here at her own castle, Hi. which she will one day be taking over. Wow. Imogen takes over as my tour guide, and the first thing she's keen to share with me is the story of one of the most controversial custodians of the castle. It's a link to a distant relative, a lady whose rather strong views and unconventional actions shook Eastner to its core. This chapel was built by Lady Henry Somerset, my great-grandfather's cousin, and she inherited the house. And she was always a very religious person, but she became incredibly religious following a very messy divorce that she had in the 19th century. She was married off to the younger son of a duke, age 20, so someone that she'd met initially when she was 17, but barely knew. And as soon as they got married, cracks began to appear. And on the second day of the honeymoon, he wrote to ask some friends to join them. He was already bored, and the truth was he was gay. <sighs> and so he really didn't want to marry her at all. But it was very much a kind of dynastic merger between the two families. It really took a few years before she actually realized, and she left him ultimately. And that's when she created this chapel? Yes. She was a huge player in the temperance movement here. She closed down the pub in Eastner. She tipped all the wine from the cellars into the lake. She took a vow of abstinence to show that she was very much aligned with her own message. Right. She dedicated a lot of time and money to setting up homes for fallen women. She funded all these good works by just burning money. She spent £75,000 through selling of assets. £75,000 in one year, what would that be the equivalent of today's? Today, that would be almost £9 million. For us, you have to work. There is no yes, selling absolutely. a painting. She wasn't uh, presented to me as this great do-gooder who was very, very worthy. She was the one that kind of began the ruination of the family. She almost actively wanted to destroy her inheritance and everything that it represented. And so having had this very glittering, glamorous upbringing, she felt she no longer needed her jewelry. So she commissioned this cross, and these are some of the jewels from her collection. And wow. she donated this cross to the church, but they felt that it was quite risky to have such a valuable piece. Right. So they gave it back, but it effectively belongs to them. Right, right. Do you ever feel like you draw inspiration from what Lady Henry has done into what you want to do next? I, I love the kind of moral example and the fierceness and her kind of early liberalism, but from a financial perspective, she was kind of ruinous. Thanks to Lady Henry's rebellious attitude towards her privileged life, Imogen's family came precariously close to being totally ruined.